Hey guys, Jay here. So $65 horse. I was watching this video of Asman Gold reacting to DM on his opinion about the $65 horse in Diablo. And one of the comments actually caught my attention. Basically, he said that $65 is like three Big Macs. Three Big Macs, I would assume that it is about three meals. You know, it will get you full for three meals. So that is the price of a country like America or somewhere in Europe where you have like certain level of uh, living standard that is quite high. And also the average income uh, per person is also quite high. So $65, let's say it's three meal. I would like to do something in comparison to that and accept my own challenge here for $65 to shop for something that would probably last me myself for about a month and it's not even like shitty food it's decent so uh, $65 here I am converting this from dollars to VND this is uh, the current price exchange rate today as of today $65 equals to a little bit under 1.6 million VND which is my country currency all right here let me actually remove this so this is take two this is the first time I uh, recorded but I have some problem some technical problem so I kind of have to do it again so let's just go ahead and uh, discard this whole thing Ooh. and let's go ahead and shop for ourselves so the first thing come in mind that is cheap that is one meal a day that is acceptable so I would like to introduce you to one of the very very delicious instant ramen this one in particular Let's say I have uh, every two day I will have one of these and I have 15 here. All right. That one is very, very delicious, by the way. Extremely, extremely delicious. Uh, instant noodle and also extremely cheap as well. Right. Next one. Let's go ahead and grab some spaghetti. This. Uh, for example, let's just get three packs of this is 500 grams per pack uh, 0.5 kilos to ounces 17 ounces of dried spaghetti I mean I think that's good enough that is spaghetti and then, of course, as a born and raised Asian, the most common food for me here is going to be rice. If you are from somewhere else and your normal meals contain of something else like more spaghetti, you know, or more bread or something, you can just choose to do that. I personally, let's just select this is uh, this is actually good rice from Thailand. 92k 3 kilos <laughs> as you can see I did some research 3 kilos to pound 6.6 pounds of rice which is way more than enough for one person to consume in a month so on average in Vietnam we do have uh, two rice per meal uh, we do have two meals with rice as the main uh, what is that? Uh, it's not protein. It is, eh, you know, main food. Let's say, let's say that. Right here, I also uh, research on how much meats do an average American consume per week, and I use that as a standard for you know shopping here. So, on average, about five serving seventeen ounces. So my goal here for thirty days is around about somewhere from 80 to 90 ounces of uh, meat so let's go to the meat section these are all fresh by the way 
so yeah let's go ahead and grab some this is uh, some pork looks pretty nice this is some ribs I'll take some ribs uh, what to choose what to choose this is some mince probably is good for like making spaghetti or something so let's just take two of these I mean to make a uh, bolognese or you know just spaghetti this one is minced beef this one is a good pretty good cut of beef also uh, let me see how much we had already because uh, each of these one is on average 0.4 kilos uh, this is 0.3 this is 0.4 this is 0.3 around 0.4 these two average out to be 0.4 so that's 1.1 kilos plus uh, 500 so that is 1.6 kilos probably let's, uh, let's get some more let's get some more This is the nose, yeah, we'll fuck eat there. You know, it really depend on what, what you like. Okay, this is, uh, I would take this one. I do like more lean than fat. Let's just get some... Maybe one more, one more pack. Uh, let's take this one. This one. All right. So, let's see how much meat are we getting from this. This one is uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 1.1, .1, plus 5 is 1.6, plus another 0.8 is 2.4, 2.5 kilos, let's say 2.5, 2 ounces. This is 88.2 ounces, which divided by by 30 days, on average, you have three ounces per day. Per week is, is around 20 ounces per week. So that is more than 17 ounces. That is good enough. All right, uh, this is just the, just pre-made food. Right, uh, right. Okay, you know what? Let's say we bring Asmund Gold as a figure to shop for. So the thing that we need to shop for is going to be including. This is completely, completely unnecessary, but it's going to be including some soft drink. Unfortunately, we do not have uh, Dr. Pepper here, so let's just take some Coke. This is pack of six. I will buy six of it. So we have 30 because we are on a budget. So, you know, Asman is a millionaire. He probably is able to buy more. But for the sake of this video, let's just say we buy one can of Coke for each day, which is completely, completely unnecessary for a meal. But let's add that to the cost. Why not? All right, um, eggs. All right, let's let's add some eggs. This is a carton of ten. Let's add three of these, which we make one per day, on average, right? I like eggs, so that looks good. This one is frozen food. Uh, so there are. Uh, just a lot of things uh, so I would just add random stuff from here let's see this is some spring roll this is some Chinese dumpling siu mai of some sort so I am trying I am trying to uh, this is the, some french fries uh, let's take this french fry this is one kilo of french fry by the way one whole kilos French fried. 
let's just add this one I am trying to select the food that kind of makes sense in places like Europe or America because most of the food here is not you know entirely familiar to everyone worldwide so since I do make uh, content in English I would try to be you know more clear on the food that I select in this example Jeez, this is also some spring roll this is I believe I should add this this is popcorn chicken add two of these yeah I think we are good let's let's say let's see uh, how much we are on all right so we are a little bit over budget so here is about one point uh, this, this is probably about sixty seven dollars or something and as you can see without the veggies because fuck veggies who eat the who eat the veggies I mean a lot of people will agree with me on that we have a whole lot of meat a whole lot of rice a whole lot of pasta given that it might not be the premium kind of pasta a whole lot of ramen and popcorn chicken fucking spring roll fucking Chinese dumpling and a lot of coke 30 cans of coke, uh, of coke as well so all of that for round about let's say if we just need to eat to survive then we if we remove this part it comes down to 1.3 millions only uh, if we invest all of those 30 can of cokes on food we probably had some more so you know more or less the math might not be completely equal but I think I made my point here $65 what a bullshit price for a horse at this rate I can probably buy an actual fucking horse here where I live so peace out blizzard